The Health Minister has detailed the new hospital facilities to be built as part of his controversial transforming health reforms. But the $250 million spend has been slammed by critics as a waste of money who also fear it could cost lives. A virtual look at a new public health system. $250 million is going to be spent in investments in our health system as part of transforming health. A big chunk of that will go towards new facilities at Flinders Medical Centre. Health Minister Jack Snelling unveiling concept images which show a 55-bed rehabilitation centre to be constructed there as he tries to sell his controversial health reforms. So a key part of Transforming Health has been to integrate our rehab facilities onto our big hospital site. But it comes at the expense of the repatriation hospital at Door Park. Confirmation it will be closed, angering many, including war veterans who've used it for decades. That that's a torpedo at people living in the southwestern suburbs of being ex-Navy, I'll use that wordage. Bloody shame. I mean, I'll just come out of there and it's packed. Opposition leader Stephen Marshall says the move will actually decrease the number of beds in the south. We want that money to be spent on new facilities that are going to add capacity, not just move and shuffle the existing facilities around. The state government has reversed plans to close Norlunga Hospital's emergency department, but the same reprieve hasn't been shown for others like the Queen Elizabeth. And that has locals angry. If people have to travel further in an emergency, then there's got to be a life-threatening situation there. I just wonder how many... Um, you know, fatalities might occur. Those concerns also shared around Modbury Hospital. They're going to see very, very little change. Uh, for example, Modbury Hospital, the life-threatening uh, type presentations that it gets at the moment is less than 1%. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.